it's nights like this when you're sitting here looking at the moon come shining through the clouds and I just shot the biggest buck I've ever shot in my life and I can hear my buddies coming down the hill there with the cart to carry this out these are the moments that you never forget you know it's 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 and I don't want to compare it but it, it's like the moment you your child is born it's like the moment you marry your wife it's like the moment you, and it, it ain't nowhere near like the moment when you when you give your life to Jesus Christ but it is another special moment like these special moments that you experience in your life and you only experience moments like this far and few between and you, you thank God for them this is the moments that you enjoy that we were created for to give God glory in the moments like this and thank him for moments like this Howdy fellow hunters, I'm JR with Genesis 27.3 Outdoors and this is Jacob Robinson with The Hunter. Say hey. How you doing? I wanted to talk about this video that um, you're fixing to watch. I'm very excited to um, um, bring it to you. Uh, I just want to clear up some things and talk about beforehand. Uh, I, I run 15 cameras out on public land in different areas and I do it not to pattern the deer. I do it to locate the deer that I want. And I know there's a lot of people who want to know where I shot this deer. I've already been asked questions. And, you know, we're trying to keep it secret, not just for us, but for also the other few hunters that hunt this hunt these places that we hunt. And, and your best bet, if you want to kill a trophy buck, I don't care where you live, is to find public land near you and seek out the hardest place to get to. And, and like we're talking three quarter mile back in the woods um, somewhere that hunters don't want to go to and set up cameras and see if you can locate the kind of buck that you want to go after that's basically what I do and it works uh, if you was to figure out where this place that I'm I, we, I shot this deer I doubt that you could get a buck of this quality for at least the next couple years because I've got several other bucks on that camera and none of them are uh, of that age to be having a rack like that. Uh, how, how old did the taxidermy say that deer was? So when I was at the taxidermist yesterday, um, dropping off my Kentucky buck, um, he said that when he pulled the jawbone out, that he expected the deer to be six and a half to seven years old. Yeah, so that, that's a pretty old deer. And um, so you have to pop around and try to find, uh, I'll give you this insight that um, he was, um, he was a public land, private land deer. He probably spent part of his time on private land, part of his time on public land. So I was hunting the edge. Um, so that's, um, you know, that's one key thing there too. Um, I put that camera out uh, early July. It was like Jul around uh, the 1st of July. And it wasn't until 7:22, July 22nd, that I got the pictures of him. And um, the first picture, which I'm going to show up on the screen here, um, came through and, and it excited the fire out of me. And one minute later, this other picture come through and I was like, wow. And I saw the eye guards and I decided to call this deer Wapiti, which I, first thing I thought, man, he looks like an elk. And I looked up what Native American for elk was and his name was Wapiti. 
and I got no other pics of this deer, none, none whatsoever from there to hunt season. And I started picking away, trying to figure out what I was going to do to try to get this deer. And he was headed a certain direction. It was the um, north side of a hill is where he was headed. And I figured that during the summer, that north side of the hill was cooler and that was going to be his summering spot. And, that, and I figured that somehow, some reason he ended up on top of that hill and um, maybe coyote ran him around or maybe somebody jumped him or whatever. But he, I figured he was still headed back to his bedding area at six o'clock in the morning. It's 619 to be exact. And uh, so I started estimating like his bedding area and then I started trying to figure out ways that he would come out of that. Uh, I knew good and well he wasn't gonna come straight up that hill and come out of there. If you, um, and I ain't gonna show the topography map topography map or whatever you want to call it but I figured bucks and any deer don't want to go straight up a hill they want to come out the easiest way and the um, opposite direction from where we hunted um, was not very good and and whatsoever and we actually hunted over that direction um, was it opening morning uh, yeah op opening day yeah. opening day mm -hmm. opening day over that direction and hunted towards and I almost went in and hunted his area but then I, I pulled myself back out and came back over and hunted went and hunted the field um, that Jacob was in and I pulled myself out because I felt like it um, the way the wind was blowing and the stuff um, and I wasn't going straight down into his bedding area I was just hunting sort of near the edge edge of it but I, I'm, I had walked up to it and I thought, nah, I ain't gonna do that. I'm, I don't want to spook this deer. And I, my main thing was, I did not want to just go barging right into his bedding area. Uh, and then we got Jacob's first buck, and um, that well, not first buck, but his first buck here in Kentucky, first public land saddle Kentucky buck, yeah, compound buck. Yep. Yeah, and um, I'm, right now we're gonna put a link up to his YouTube channel, and um, you ought to go check that out. And, but so we got that and uh, told you that night that uh, we got your buck now, we're going after my buck, didn't I? Yeah. And uh, so the next day we went out and Jacob really, and he, you, you, when you're watching the video, we say, I say absolutely nothing about Wapiti because the simple fact is if I didn't get him, I didn't, and we got footage of other deer and stuff, I didn't want to put out where he was or give some kind of idea uh, if anybody had a clue. And so we sort of kept it quiet. And then you come down in, in this video and you'll see us stop at the edge of a field and have this conversation. And that's when Jacob found out we was fixing to walk into the edge of um, Wapiti's territory there, what I call his core area. What I figured was his core area. Uh, anything else, anything you want to say about the hunt? Um, so, uh, he showed me the one picture he showed me the one trail camera picture of this deer and then kind of we kind of just kind of talked about it and we made there's lots of video clips of us just kind of making wapiti jokes here and there like throughout the months i never though in a million years thought i was ever actually going to see that deer again all right we're talking one picture we got two pictures i think i saw both of them but essentially one whole picture of this deer i never thought in a million years that i would ever actually see the deer and then to actually get to stand over top of the deer and, and to hold it up and to hold its antlers and things like that was absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't even know what the likelihood of something like that happening was, but it was yeah. crazy. The likelihood of, uh, I, I, I call it a God thing, um, being able to go in and set up where I think the deer was going to uh, enter into this field the, the, um, the first time getting up in the tree and he, show, he shows up and, and you uh, you know, I was about to shoot a doe, which you'll see in the video. I was about to shoot a doe, and then I kept hearing something. But anyway, I don't want to spoil too much of the video. Uh, the video. Uh, but uh, with fur no further ado, here's the video. Enjoy. Headed to a spot I'm going to hunt. Uh, Jacob's behind me. It's September 9th. It's a little bit after 2 o'clock. hunt another field and uh, get away from that field uh, basically after hunting this field we'll about have all the fields wore out at this particular location but uh, I think it's gonna be a good day love the cross if it wasn't for the cross uh, I'd be out there in the madness 
this uh, and it's a long story about the madness I used to be in but uh, I used to be a bad guy but uh, uh, Jesus and the cross changed that but anyway we're headed out here and uh, I'll do more of an interview once we get there but uh, I just figured I'd uh, give a little update what we're doing to start out with here hey fellow hunters this is JR with Genesis 273 Outdoors and Jacob Robinson the hunter it's humid up here young humid and we just hiked up a little hill we're headed down to a spot we're gonna call the lower field anyhow we're going down there to see about what's down there we ain't hunted there ain't nobody hunted there and uh um, we're gonna go check it out and on our way you see this right here right here on the logging road i don't know man i might just got that tree right there <laughs> probably wouldn't but we're head down there um the way this is done right here I think they might have mowed down there. Yeah. It didn't look like it back there, but. Right in the woods. Yeah. So, gotta love spider webs. Yeah, so needless to say, you got the thicket here, and, and, uh, Blue camera, mm -hmm. Wapiti. See how close we are? And he was headed that way. Hopefully he comes out on you. Okay. I'm going, going over that way. Jacob's going over that way. Okay. Hold on. Good luck. Send it in. Okay. About a 40 yard shot right there, but deer just happened to be there. And uh, now the property lines right, right, right through there. That field's not public, and uh, there's deer trails in here. Um, so, I'm sure, some deer sneak through this beach point here before they cross the field. Jacob is up over here somewhere. I don't, I don't know exactly. We can't really communicate about where where we're at because uh signal I mean literally we all, we only have text right here. Can't ain't got no no data, no nothing. So, the breeze is good. It's, it's actually blowing on my face. Like this right here. And it's blowing, blowing my scent out over on my private land. So, we'll see what we get.
the best thing I can do. My anxiety is up. Let's turn it over to God. It ain't much, nothing I can do other than get down and, and just not hunt. Uh, be real honest, I even took some of my e-cig oil and tried to oil the joints to get the, the creaking sound out of it, and it's still creaking. It just, it's annoying. I got the get home and figure out what the problem is. But I'm going to turn it over to God. I'm going to sit here and say a prayer. I, ain't, uh, I said a little prayer when I ate earlier, but I'm going to say a prayer now. Father God, you're wonderful and awesome and caring God, Lord, and I thank you that you desire a relationship with us. Not just a Sunday relationship, but an everyday relationship and God I pray that uh, just help me on this hunt my anxiety is up um, Stan's got a creek I'm worried to death uh, the big wapiti is going to come in and I'm going to I'm going to make a creek and scare him and mess up any chance I got of getting him over and I just ask that you just help me in any way you see fit uh, Help relieve my anxiety. Help me enjoy your beautiful creation that you've given us to enjoy. To uh, st be stewards of and to take care of, Lord. I thank you for all you've done for me and all you're going to do for me. And uh, just the many blessings that you give me. And I just want to thank you again for Jacob getting a deer, Lord. I just thank you that you answered that prayer of mine. And um, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hear it? I don't know if you hear it.
That was Wapiti. I just killed Wapiti. I just killed Wapiti, man. I ain't even joking, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, just work your way over towards me real quietly. Okay. Love you, man. Oh, man. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, son of a... Lord, thank you, Jesus. Can you hear me? Yeah. I just killed Wapiti. I killed Wapiti. I'm about pretty sure it was him. I couldn't see that it had eye guards, but it was huge. I mean, it's huge. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Well, I still ain't got to him, but I'm pretty sure I heard him crash. But anyway, I love you. Hello? Okay, Aaron, you just have to find out later. Okay. Let's get this thing together and get down. I'm recording. Okay. So what happened is he come in behind me uh, and he was eating on the acorn tree, acorns that the doe was eating on earlier. And uh, I knew good and well that, um, that uh, that's gonna, that gonna be my opportunity. So I, I repositioned myself and got where I could turn around and go backwards like this. And when he moved and worked his way out into the opening, I shot him. I hit him in the shoulder. Like I was going for a heart. Should we just be as loud as possible? Huh? Should we just be as loud and scary as possible? Yeah. Okay. Snap air off. Yeah, it went about that deep. So that's enough to. It's bloody too. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I see blood. Oh, we got blood right in here. A bunch of it too. Oh boy. This ain't gonna take long. Over here. Oh. Right here at your feet? Yeah. 
I'm trying to spot the up ahead. He was flying. Yeah. Right here. I heard him. You find any blood? Just, just, oh, here, right here. Okay. Let me get on it. I'm on it. We did this last night. We know what we're doing, right? Yeah. You know he went that way. He had to. Was he velvet or hard? Uh, he sort of looked velvet. Oh, boy. Oh, there's blood all over the tree. Huh? All over this tree. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where he went right here. You guys see that? He's spraying blood. We got here's, here's blood. We got coyotes moving in on us instantly. I don't see. blood. Right here. I'm not seeing it. Okay. You need to go out that way. I'm gonna come here. Cause I sort of sort of think you went like over this direction from what I can tell, but I knew it. He ran over towards me. I'm about to have a nicotine fit. Right here. Okay, I'm moving up. Stay on it. Got it. I think you busted right through here. He must have. Let me see. Let me see if I can find you below. Oh, so I'm right there next to you on the leaves. Sprayed all over the bottom of it. Yep. Okay, so we're getting. Yeah. What side did you shoot him in on? Right His here. right side? Right here, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here. More blood. We're getting close. Where is he? Come on, Wapiti. Wapiti. Right Wapiti. Right here. Uh-huh. Okay, just make sure. And keep, you keep curving to the right a little bit because he crashed kind of up towards me. Okay, blood. Yeah. Right here. Okay. Should we get close? Look, follow this. Right here. He's tearing shit up. Look right here. Follow this trail. Right here. Okay. Here. Dude, we're getting really close to him, I think. Here. Blood all over his leaves back here. Here. Oh, thank you. Jesus. Oh my God. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Oh my oh, God. God. Thank you, Lord. Jr. <laughs> Jr. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, it's Wapiti! It's Wapiti! It's Wapiti! <laughs> you did it! <laughs> oh. You did it! Right where I said I was going Woo! Yes! <laughs> oh, I need a picture. Oh. Get out of here, coyote. You ain't getting Wapiti. Okay. Right there's the field. I know. I heard him crash. I told you. <sighs> Cannot believe he's in velvet. Get this velvet buff, JR. Oh my god. Pull that. I should we get a picture real quick. Oh 
Oh my god. It's wapiti. <laughs> Turn your headlight off. Okay. Listen, I want to get him out in the field and get some pictures with the bow. Oh, we will. Watch this. Uh, one more. Okay. Lights on. Let me get a real close one of his rack. Dude. What did you do? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> oh, I gotta get my head out of the way so you can put your head in there. Well, mine's going through a processor, so it's gonna get to a taxidermist. Yeah. In the morning. I don't, I don't okay. have to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Boy. Are you still recording? I don't know. Yeah. I'm a terrible cameraman. I'm sorry. That's okay. Self filming sucks. I got your arrow. I got your little lights. You get Wapa T out in the field. I told you I heard him crash. Oh my God. So how do we do this? Okay. So, what do I do like? You're gonna have to go get the cart. Okay, I thought so. You need to guard this deer. What's up with his ear? Oh, it's probably not, from a fight. Is that not an old ear tag or something, is it? What do, can I touch him? I, well, I'm not posting anything. Can I touch him? Yeah. Here, I wanna to touch him. I'm not, I won't post anything. Sure, here, you do you. I just had to grab pictures. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Got counted right off the bat. Uh, this one might not be scorable. No, it's scorable. 17 scorable points. Okay. What do you want? Just go get the cart? Uh, yeah. Y'all, my two best friend hunt friends God gave me, y'all. We're back, man. Here. Congratulations, brother. Don't say nothing yet. Wait till you get to put your hands on them. I think I counted 17. 17. 17 points. Oh my goodness. And you smoked him too. Yeah. Thinking all that. 60 yards. Smoking. Just, I think, if, it, if that, it might have been 50. It wasn't far. No, and the broadhead, is the broadhead still sticking out or did you get it? Uh, I don't know. It's probably still sticking out the other side right there. It's sticking out of his elbow last I saw. <laughs> There's waffle tape. Yeah. The, um, okay, you remember I said his core, I thought I felt like his core area during the summer, the direction he was headed, six o'clock, was on the side of that hill right there. Yeah. Remember that? And then I said, I wasn't going to go in, I wasn't going to hit him. I was going to hit him in, like, do, do spots and see yeah. what I see. Yeah. Uh, well, this was the first. <laughs> the <spot laughs> okay. And uh, so. I'm sit sitting there, and it's like 6.30, something like that. I reckon it's somewhere around there when we had them. Uh, he had uh, a doe and two fawns. He, am I right? Two does and a fawn. Two and then does and a fawn go around over here. Yeah. And then they actually, I think they came down and got here behind me. Well, while they were there, one 
um, one of the, I think the, it came snorting down through here while a, another doe was up underneath the acorn tree, um, rutting around trying to find the acorns. And uh, she bounded off like she smelt me. My wind was going that way, but I was up in the tree and she was right there, so it was probably blowing over mostly, but she probably got a slight whiff. Yeah. And, and then left. And then the, uh, the two, um, two um, does and the phone come down through here and got right here behind me and I got I got drawn back she, uh, the doe first lead doe was behind the tree and I was drawn back like this and she stopped and then she snorted and took back once more like this and went back and then they went into the private field over there and so then I'm just sitting there you know like man this is action going on man good gosh he's talking about he's watching two deer and then uh, two, um, a do, uh, two, two does and a phone come out right here, and big gray does starts coming towards like this way. I saw that one too. I'm getting focused. They, they come out from uh, from that way. Yeah. Uh, were you able to see them from over there? No, I had them over by me. I had the gray doe over by me earlier. Oh, that's different. That was different. These was came it? out from from the same way Wapiti came. Oh, oh okay. crap! Drop the phone. So, needless to say, they come out. And I'm I'm sitting there getting ready to get drawn on um you know fixing to shoot that doe and I hear it. behind me and I'm like the grief something rooting up underneath that blame tree. So I go like this and I look around there and I see all I can see is just pops. Yeah. Okay? And I see it. I said, holy cow, that looks like Wapiti. So I reach up, grab my tether, and I move my tether further this way. So that when I swung around this way, I wouldn't keep swinging around the tree. Because yeah. if you, get, you go so far with it, right? So I swung around, got the camera around, sitting there waiting and waiting. He's in behind the stuff. And then I finally he kind of starts coming out and I can see his shoulder area. And I draw back and I put that pin on that shoulder. Right where, well, I, I saw be a little high. Yeah. But needless to say, I put it right there and went, Poof! and then, and then he took off and running. I heard him crash. And, and, and <laughs> then the air come out of him, and then he come up through here. Well, I was down there in that yeah. corner, and he come up through here, and we heard, and I was like, he just crashed. He just crashed. I just killed Wapiti. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna have to watch it because I break down. That's the first time I ever cried about a deer. First time. You good reason to look at him. <laughs> I cried too, bud. This is a real friend right here. There's another good friend. Man, I tell you what. Best friends you ever have. He's your hunting buddies. Sorry, Charles. I love old Charles, though. He's, he's my friend. But he ain't my hunting buddy. <laughs>